Each of you claim that the other is responsible for an automobile accident that occurred in April of this year. Is correct. that correct? Yes. Were you driving your own car? Yes, ma'am. Were you driving your own car? Yes, ma'am. Was your car insured? Yes. Was your car insured? No, ma'am. That's why we're here. Yes, ma'am, but the accident was my fault, so. Well, if you had insurance, the insurance company would have dealt with that. Clear. Is your car insured now? Yes, ma'am. Were you given a ticket for not having insurance? No, ma'am. Why not? Don't police ask regularly for license, registration, and insurance? No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, they do. On the police report, he stated that he had nationwide. May I see it, please? You told the insurance company you had nationwide insurance? No, ma'am. I've been with USA since 17 years, ma'am. So they made this up when they said insurance company nationwide. What kind of car were you driving? I had a 2013 Nissan Rogue. And you, sir? Um, 2003 Infiniti. Where were you going? Actually, ma'am, was going toward the lounge. What time? Uh, I think it was about 10.30, ma'am. Why don't you go over to the Miss McIntosh and show me where your car was and how you were traveling? This is La Vista and North Druid Hills Road. I'm this car. I was coming down North Druid Hills. The light was green. So as I was coming upon the intersection, I seen him turning and I said, he's not going to make it. And I just braced for impact. And that's when we collided. What kind of road is this? Um, it's a regular four section intersection. How fast were you going? Um, about 40, 45. Excessive. You can step back. Your story is that you had a green arrow. Yes, ma'am. Police didn't do any other report? There was an independent witness that was on the side that spoke up and came forward and said... Didn't they? Just can't, can't tell me what the witness said. Yes, ma'am. Did you get the name of the witness? Yes, ma'am. What's the name of the witness? Denim. Do you have her information? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to have it. It's on the police report. Third page. So let's see if I can reach Miss Denham. If not, it's not going to go well for you, sir, because you don't have insurance. You understand that. Well, Perfect. I have a witness. I don't care. Oh. Is this Denham? This is Judge Judy Scheinlin. Good morning. I'm calling you because I'm in the middle of trying a case involving an automobile accident that happened on April 3rd of this year, and you were a witness to that accident. Can you tell me where you were standing? So you were driving. Okay. Can you tell me whether the woman who was traveling straight had the green light or whether the man who was making a left turn had a green arrow? And you were in the turn lane. You have made my day so much easier, Miss Denham, and I thank you very much for being so articulate and clear. Thank you. Bye-bye now. So this idiot who was driving in the car with you, who was going to testify on your behalf as a witness, I'm not interested in. Because if you think that I think, or that any normal person would think, that you would bring a witness who was with you in the car to testify that she was in the right, why do I have to waste my three minutes asking him a question? When I have a perfectly independent witness who doesn't know either of you from a hole in the wall, said that she was in the turn lane waiting to make a left turn. Your car was behind her. The plaintiff had a green light. So there were green lights going in both directions. She was waiting because she saw the plaintiff's car coming straight. There is no green arrow there. You got impatient and went around her and cut her off to make the left turn. That's why she stopped, and that's why she gave the police her name, because you went around her car, cut her off, she was making a left turn, and there was no green arrow. How much was the damage to your car? Ma'am, it was totaled. Um, I had the insurance company and what they paid out. Judgment for the finance. plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're done. Thank you.